Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, talk to our racket and shoe specialists. Tennis has been called physical chess and boxing just without the violence. A new comedy called Gentleman's Fury puts a fight club twist on tennis. It's a 79 minute movie premiering on Vimeo On Demand coming up May 23rd, the day after Roland Garros begins. The star Ben Sharples, who wrote, produced, and directed the film with his wife Marissa, is a tennis junkie. Ben played college tennis for UC Berkeley in the mid-1990s and coached former ATP pro Zach Fleischman at the 2011 US Open. The film follows the story of Aaron Faust, a fictional former ATP pro with a few issues. Banned by the ATP for brawling with an arrogant opponent after a bad line call, Aaron descends into a dark period until he meets the charismatic Dwayne, who recruits Aaron for Gentleman's Fury, an underground tennis league that just might not be strictly about tennis. Here's a sneak peek from the film. My whole life is ruined! Aaron, you're scaring me. Oh really? Am I scaring you? Am I scaring you? Tennis is a contact sport, but it doesn't allow contact. It is not satisfying its own potential, and something needs to be done about it. Ben says the lead character is kind of an amalgamation of John McEnroe and Andre Agassi, and that all the players in the cult are in it because they've been excused from the tour for ahem, questionable behavior. And they're all subtly based on real ATP pros and incidents that they actually had. Richard Gasquet's cocaine kissing defense Nikolai Davidenko's match fixing, Bernard Tomic's naked wrestling, Jeff Charango's umpire attack, and Wayne Odesnik's HGH bust. Though there wasn't too much actual tennis playing in the film following Aaron's meltdown, the writer says there is an ongoing tongue-in-cheek commentary about the state of tennis in the U.S., as well as some inside tennis jokes and references that only tennis players and fans are going to understand. The May 23rd movie debut marks the beginning of a big year in film for tennis. Filming's already wrapped up on the Borg McEnroe movie, starring Hollywood bad boy Shia LaBeouf as raging rebel John McEnroe. Exploring the complexities of the iconic rivalry, the film is scheduled for release on September 15th of this year. A week after that movie premieres, we're going to see two other Hall of Famers hit the big screen. The Battle of the Sexes feature film on the famed 1973 match between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs will debut on September 22nd. Emma Stone, fresh off winning the Academy Award for her performance in La La Land, stars as Billie Jean. Steve Carell plays Bobby Riggs, who became good friends with Billie Jean after their showdown at the Houston Astrodome. That match was staged on September 20th, 1973. It was one of the most highly viewed sporting events of its time, with more than 30,000 fans in attendance, an estimated 50 million viewers tuning into ABC's coverage, and millions of dollars bet on the outcome. We'll take a look at the history of tennis in Hollywood in an upcoming episode. So what is your favorite tennis-themed film? Let us know. A trio of Hall of Famers recently took tennis to Cuba. Stan Smith, Martina Navratilova, and Jim Courier all visited Havana for an upcoming Tennis Channel episode reporting on the refurbished Cuban National Tennis Center. The champions conducted a clinic with aspiring young Cuban junior players. And that's it for Tennis Now. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time.